Hello, everybody, and welcome to another chapter in the long legacy of the Big Ten Conference. It's a championship game in the new expanded Big Ten, and there are high stakes here, not just a conference championship, but potentially positioning themselves for one at the national championship with an automatic bid. This is a matchup we've all been waiting for. Two teams ranked in the top five, battling for a precious conference title, but also pointing to something even bigger, the college football playoff. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the USC Trojans, taking on the number one team in the land, the Oregon Ducks. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. team out there getting ready and this is it the battle for the conference championship trophy bringing it out it's thomas tackle at the 13 not great field. The guys up front lined up, it's first down. First play of the drive, they look to the right. And he will make the first down, tackled at the 26. The Trojans looking to use the up-tempo offense here. Boy, just a great throw and outstanding accuracy by this USC quarterback. We always know over the years that SC has as much history as anybody at this quarterback spot, and sure is living up to that right now. Defense finally brings him down, but a nice chunk play. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. And the Trojans come to the line, set a fresh set of downs. Grab behind the line. It's Thomas. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They bring him down to the 25. They're moving closer and closer to the red zone. Offense right to the line, playing with tempo now. And then first down right back to the running game. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Second down after that previous play. Chris, this is what I love to see from a defense is the linebackers are scraping, doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. The Trojans trying to cash in here in the red zone. Receiver in motion now. Handoff here from the shotgun. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long.
Scanning the field, it's Childs. Catch made on the left side. Brought down at the five after the catch. The offense really threatening now. The defense is so caught up in this guy running the football in this drive, they forgot to defend him coming out of the backfield. Nice positive play here. play called on third and short. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. That was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. It, he just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the back. So their first drive of the game, they're going to go for it on fourth down. Aggressive start. the snap. Quarterback drops back. Caught near the goal line. He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown Trojans. Just getting settled in for this conference championship game. This offense already has four points on the board, Curry. Man, they are not wasting any time at all settling into this football game. They got straight to the reads. Quarterback did a nice job of just kind of executing the game plan. And they're up seven here. PAT is good. They slammed into the kicker, and penalty markers are down. Pretty easy call for the head coach. He will accept that penalty, of course. Getting set to kick the ball off now. That one sails out of the back of the end zone at the touchback. Will it be? Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Fights off a defender. Moves his way for a first down to the 35. Nice job here by this back picking up a first down and living up to the legacy that they have in Eugene. There have been so many good backs. I mean, the list goes on and on, but right off the top of my head, you're going to start with Kenyon Barner and Michael James and Throwing DeAnthony Thomas. What a golden era it was for the Oregon Ducks when it came to running backs. And they're still trying to live up to that to this day. First down here for this offense. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience, the hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. Fresh set it down for the offense, first down. The shotgun handoff here. The gain is five, so it's second and five now. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. Second down play coming up for this offense. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Looks like the QB is changing the play at the line. Yeah. 
begin the quarter with a crucial play often setting up for this third down quick pass here comes a jet sweep he stopped short of the mark so it's fourth down now will come to the line on fourth down looking to convert trying for a fourth down completion and it's incomplete under heavy pressure a big fourth down stop Chris what a great job here by this defense on this fourth down play they knew exactly where to come up with that stop to get the turnover on downs and they did it is back out on the field. On the last time this was a touchdown, can they keep clicking here over the defense come up with a stop? Looking to pass, it's Childs. Receiver makes the grab. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Second down play coming up. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Here's the throw deep downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. So that huge game quickly sets up a first and goal just inside the 10. An inside give now from the shotgun. Oh, and he fumbles. And the defense jumps on the football. Hey, Chris, we can hear the contact from that hit all the way up here in the booth. So, hey, it's easy to blame the ball carrier, but I don't know if anybody could have been able to hold on to the ball after that hit. Powerful offense is back on the field. The last possession, they were stopped on a fourth down and try. Can they get something going here? Kibbe decides to keep it here. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. What, what a play by this linebacker. That option play got to the outside. I thought they had a chance on the perimeter. But the speed and the awareness of that linebacker makes a huge play. Now it's second down here. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back. Looking to throw for it on third down. Sacked. Dropped at the three. A really good job by this defense. The quarterback looked to be trying to work through his progressions to find his open receiver, but before he knew it, he's on his back. And the Ducks will line up to kick it away. That's a rough series for the offense, and now he's on to punt it away. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team.
comes the USC offense back on the field. They moved it well last time, got across the 50, but then fumbled the football away. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. Makes a quick grab. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. They're going to pick up a first down. Nice catch, but even a better throw to show that accuracy and efficiency from that quarterback spot. And my gosh, they have so many great quarterbacks over the years that played at USC. Go back to Carson Palmer, the year he won the Heisman. What a brilliant career he had for the men of Troy. Matt Leinart. Think back to those Norm Chow offenses and the championships that Matt Leinart won. And, of course, more recently, Caleb Williams for Lincoln Riley, running and throwing and making throw. And that pass rush has trapped him into sack. You know, a lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one -on -one battles with the receivers and the DBs. Here's a great example of up front, the offensive line and the defensive line. Who wins that battle? This time the defense wins it and they get the sack. With the sack on first down, it's second down. To throw, it's Childs. Looking for his big tight end. It's caught downfield. They make the tackle there, but a penalty marker is on the field. Let's see what that's about. That one hurts. Backs him up 10 yards. And the clock stops now for the two-minute warning. A chance to strategize here before we reach halftime. Offense getting set. Second down play here. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. So two losses in a row. It's in the tough spot. Third and very long. Defense not pressing this time. Drops back looking to throw on third and forever. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Well, Chris, obviously, they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, but you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw on this play. Coverage team miscue moves the offense up 15 yards to start the drive. Empty backfield. Offense spreading the field with five wide. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to pull him down and run. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards. Sets up a nice second and two. Chris, I love the patience here by the quarterback. He's waiting for something to happen downfield, but it's not there. Then you see the athletic ability to be able to pick up some good yards. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback making some changes at the line. Second down, looking to throw it. That one falls incomplete. Looking for a flag, doesn't get it. Brings up third down. Pick up the first down through the air. He bought some time, now lets it go. And it's intercepted as he threw it back across his body that time. Not much on the return there, but the interception gives the football back to the offense at the 47. And the USC offense is back out on the field. They're trying to build on their lead, but they're forced to punt on the last possession. Here comes a handoff. 
He's taken down, but that's a nice gain. They'll spot the ball now at the 35. And the Trojans looking to run some tempo here. And they'll go right back to him on first down. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. No huddle here for the offense. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Now the offense will call a timeout here. Something they didn't like about what they saw there. Wanting to make an adjustment for this critical down. in time that'll cost him five yards quarterback unaware of the play clock that'll cost them five Got it. an important third down attempt for this offense Dropping back, it's Childs. Let's it fly out of the wideout. This one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Hey, it's an incompletion, but it's a nice job by the quarterback. I know it didn't pan out, but the most important thing is he didn't turn the football over and he didn't take a sack. It'll give your kicker a chance to put some points on the board if they opt for the field goal here on fourth down. Out comes the field goal team to give it a shot. This is a long way out. This will be interesting. They're going to trust the kicker from 57 yards out. Can he get it there? Kick is up and no good. And after the miss, it's still a seven-point lead. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. Looking for some late fireworks here. Less than 30 seconds before halftime. A handoff from the shotgun. And we're able to tackle the ball carrier there. for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. And the Trojans will kick it off to begin the second half. And it comes out of the 25. No return attempted there. snap they flip it to him on the jet sweep some hard running there through a tackle enough for a first down at the 37 the defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion they just kind of stayed in place and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play how aggressive do you get on first and ten We'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. He's brought down out of the 46. Hey, nice RPO here by the offense. Defense is going to sit back, make it easy on the quarterback, hand it off up the middle. Nice solid game. Stay ahead of the chains. On the 
second down after that run on the previous play. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that would really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. The Ducks have first and ten here. And the quarterback keeps it here. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Here's the second down play. They'll run the option. And now it's fumbled. What a decision. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play here. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the fumble, but you have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of it. It's a lucky break for the offense. Consecutive losses, they got to come up with something here on third and very long. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it, looking to scramble. Looks like he's going to run it. And he heads out of bounds after a nice pickup on the run. Boy, he comes up just short of his first down, but a nice job of picking up some yards on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you, and in this case, it wasn't quite enough to pick up the first down, but he gives him a chance. He'll field the punt. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. Click. This has been a struggle for both offenses so far. Solid game moves the ball to the 43. And the Trojans come up to the line in a hurry up. And the same runners got it again. They get him down, but he crosses midfield, spot the ball to 44. Fresh set of down. It's first and ten. the shotgun now here's a handoff inside they bring him down but that's a solid gain on the play this line getting set up it's a first down play they'll switch it up here looking to throw Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. Good pressure here by this defense, but it felt like the quarterback held on to the ball a little bit too long to come up with that sack for the D. And sack sets up second down. Scanning the field. It's Childs. He'll take a deep shot here. It's caught inside the 10. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the quarterback makes them pay for it. Offense racing down the field. It sets up a first and goal inside the 10.
There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Yes, Hawk, can he get in? And he's in. Touchdown, SC. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. But when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. And the point after is right down the middle. Now they get set to kick it away. about returning it but instead takes a knee it'll be a touchback and they'll start at the 25. And the Oregon offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. Has the first down and more. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. They trust the left side of that offensive line and come up with a huge play on the ground. Yeah, your favorite, Chris, there. The old pin and pull there to the left side. Great blocking on the left side. Able to create a great push. Nice crease in the back. Found that with the vision and picks up some big yards for that first down. One play moves the ball to the 48. Another first down coming up. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Man heads out of bounds after a decent game. You know, the good thing about this play is it's not an explosive play, but it really gives you a chance now to be able to pick up a first down here on this next play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Now the handoff. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. Grab behind the line, it's McClellan. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. The offense will line up. Chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Here we go. First play of the quarter. Offense setting up for a second down play. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Tackle, but first down. Hey, it's a nice pickup. You got the first down on the ground. That's a great job. But remember, it's a two-possession game. You got to pick it up a bit. This defense will welcome those kind of plays all game long because the clock will keep moving. So you got to put that ball in the end zone and try to get the ball back. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Defense flies in. They make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. So the screen on first down is snuffed out nicely, and now they're behind the sticks here. Yeah, the offense tried to fool this defense by going the screen on first down, but give the defense all the credit in the world. They're not fooled at all. Read that perfectly, able to chase that down for a loss. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And the back now goes in motion. Gets the first and still running. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal yardage to the nine. 
Well, anytime I'm evaluating running backs, it's not just about speed and size and what he brings to the team. It's also about his toughness. Yards after the contact. What kind of balance does he have? How about that run right there? You can bet his teammates and his coaches are very proud of that effort. What a heck of a run there for a nice game. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. You know, in the RPO game, the quarterback's got to make really sound decisions on that read. Either give it when it's the right time, or you pull it out and make the throw. Here, I think he's kind of in that gray area, decides to hand it off, and at least picked up some positive yards. Offense facing second and goal. Here's the handoff, testing the middle. And they try to run inside, but nowhere to go. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. you got a real shot to come up with a stop here, whether they run it or throw it. You get a stop here, and maybe you hold them to three points. On the Urgency here in the fourth quarter. They must cut into this lead. It's third down and goal. Tailback takes the handoff again, and they've got him. Well, that is going to bring up fourth down now, Chris, and it is critical that they not only go for it, they've got to pick up this first down. You're down by a couple possessions. You can't fool around. you got to keep this possession as long as you can and put this ball eventually into the end zone. Remember, a field goal here doesn't do much, so on fourth and goal, you're going for the touchdown. Try to make it with a quarterback sneak, and he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Oregon. This will be fun. Strange things happen. The conference championship trophy is on the line. One possession game, fourth quarter. Who's going to step up? So here's the deal. Your defense just gave up a touchdown. Now all of a sudden, we got a game. What will your offense do to be able to secure a victory? You want to win a championship? Go out and earn it. Coach makes a decision to go for a two-point conversion. toward the goal line and he has stopped short the two-point drive fails he can't cut this lead further kickoff team on the field getting set now and he'll just take a knee drive will start at the 25-yard line They'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. That's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 29. Chris, good job here on this stop, but remember the ball is inbounds and the clock keeps moving here late in the game and you're trailing. It's a defense. You gotta start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. You get all three to use. At what point are you gonna start putting those into play? What's the play call here on second down for this offense? to throw. It's Childs. Here's a throw underneath to the tight end. That'll pick up a first down. They'll spot it at the 38. Chris, that's another nice pick up through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. So the clock stops as we head into the final two minutes of play here. This defense needing to step up and make a play now. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? A pop pass on the jet sweep. 
They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. Man, that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Second down after that run on the previous play. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Dump off caught by the running back. And it's going to be taken down there, but there is a flag on the field. Costly hold nullifies the play, backs him up 10 yards. Ready. Offense getting set. It's second down. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Trying to extend the play. He'll be taken down. The defense rises up with a sack at a crucial moment. Well, the quarterback makes a mistake here. That's football 101. Once you get outside of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation and not take the sack, especially in the fourth quarter. Now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. So bad plays on first and second down puts them in a tough spot here. Third and very long. Now the offense will spend a timeout here wanting to come up with a perfect call on this important play coming up. After consecutive losses, he did a miracle here on third and a mile. Back to pass. It's Childs. Let's it go quickly. But they don't connect. It's incomplete. And it brings up fourth down. Hey, I understand the aggressive approach here on third down and long, trying to pick up the first down. But look at the scoreboard. You've got the lead in the fourth quarter. Smart play would have been to keep running the football, work the clock, force them to use their timeouts. Now at fourth down and long with the lead. Tough decision here. I think you got to punt it away. takes the field here we go they need a touchdown they got some time to work with here they got to be precise and manage the clock wisely and he pulls in the catch they get him down but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. looking to throw it on first down caught in the flat by the running back heads out of bounds as a short gain on play one thing i love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Okay, Getting set. Here's second down. And he drops back in the gun. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. The clock is still running. they got to get set quickly. Quarterback appears to be changing the play. Snapping it from the red zone now. Looking to throw. On the run, he'll let it go. And he scores. Touchdown, Ducks. 
The offense showing some heart in this conference championship game, Kirk, but still, the clock is our enemy. They need a miracle. I love that this offense is able to go down there and score. It shows you what kind of wiring they have and how they will not give in. Now, as you said, Chris, very, very challenging to recover this onside kick. I'm kind of pulling for them. I hope they're able to do it because I want to see a classic finish. So they get the important touchdown, but they need the two-point conversion to tie the game. And he's not going to make it. The try fails. An enormous play by this defense to preserve the lead. Looks like they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hand seam able to make the crucial recovery. So this one is tucked away. Time for victory formation. Looks like the quarterback will just take a knee here. It's always a special year when after all of the work you put in, you can call yourselves champions of the Big Ten. And now with the playoff spot locked up, the spotlight gets even brighter. We're going to find out where they're going to be playing as they continue to pursue a national championship. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.